Uh, this is the extra example number one in chapter 11 consolidation. And for this example, we are going to calculate the primary consolidation settlement of actually two clay layers. So this site here has layer one, which is a stiff clay layer and layer two, which is a soft clay layer. And we have two sets of consolidation test data, one for the sample taken at the middle of the first layer and two for the sample taken at the middle of the second layer. Okay. So the way we're going to calculate the total primary consolidation settlement is we're going to calculate the settlement for layer one and layer two separately and then add them up to get the total settlement. Okay. Um, so let's look at this uh, uh, example, these two layers. So first, uh, let's look at layer one. So let's calculate the initial stress at the sampling location. So that's the middle of the clay layer. So let's calculate that initial stress. And this is the initial stress before any sandy field is put on top. So before sandy field is put on top. Okay. So that's the initial stress in the clay layer. And we're going to take uh, the representative sample, the initial stress at the representative uh, sampling location. That's the middle of the clay layer. Okay. So for layer one, the uh, initial effective stress, let's call this sigma not one prime. And at this, uh, this is at the middle. Okay. So layer one at the middle, it's 10 feet below the ground surface. And the water table is also set at the ground surface. So we have 10 feet of saturated clay. So the effective stress is 10 times the point unit weight, which is 105 minus 62.4. So 105, this is gamma saturated of layer one. And this 62.4, that's gamma water. Okay. If you substitute these numbers, calculate this. This is 426 PSF. Okay. So this is layer one, the initial effective stress in the middle of the clay layer. And then the, the um, for layer two, for layer two, the initial effective stress, sigma 202 prime. For this one, we have uh, first 20 feet of uh, lay, so clay one. So 20 feet of 105 minus 62.4. Okay. So this is gamma saturated two, uh, one. Okay. So that's the saturated unit weight of layer one. So we have 20 feet of layer one on top and plus that 10 feet of layer two uh, above sampling uh, sample two. So that's plus 10 feet of, uh, for so layer two, saturated unit weight is 90 minus 62.4. Okay. And this 90 here, this is saturated unit weight of layer two. Okay. So that is the unit weight at sample two location. And this is 1128 PSF. Okay. And then for both layers, for both sample one and two, the change in effective stress, delta sigma prime. So this is the same for both layers. So this change in effective stress is due to that 10 feet of sandy field on top. So we have 10 feet of gamma moist. Okay. So this is. 10 feet of sandy view. Okay. And gamma moist is 120. So that's uh, 1200 PSF. Okay. And then the final effective stress. Okay. So final. So the final effective stress at sample one and sample two location we have for layer one. So this is layer one. So sigma F one prime, this is sigma not 
1 plus delta sigma, sigma prime. So that's 426 plus 1200. That's 1626 PSF. Okay. So that's the final effective stress at sample one, middle of the clay layer one. So for layer two, sigma F2, again, this is at the middle of layer two. So that's sigma naught two plus delta sigma prime. Eleven twenty eight PSF. Um, it's actually eleven twenty eight plus twelve hundred. Okay, so that's um, twenty three twenty eight PSF. Okay, so now we have the initial and the final effective stresses at both sample one and sample two location, and then to calculate the settlement for layer one and layer two. Okay, so SC for layer one. Okay. So for layer one, we're going to use the consolidation test data that correspond to sample one. Okay. So for this one, we know the pre-consolidation pressure is 1275. So if you compare so sigma naught one at layer one, which is uh, 426. So this number is smaller than the pre-consolidation pressure sigma c one prime so this is 1275 psf okay and this is smaller than the final effective stress as sample one so 16 uh, so this is sigma f prime okay so that's 1626 psf okay and if you look at our lecture notes and so this is basically what we call um, case two here. So this is case two. Okay. So for case two, the pre-consolidation, uh, uh, primary consolidation settlement SC consists of two components. So SC, this is one, okay. So it's H over one plus E. So H we're going to use the thickness of layer one is 20 plus one plus uh, over one plus E naught one, which is 0.95 okay. times. So the two components, one coming from the, um, so the first one comes from the pre uh, the recompression portion. So we're going to use 0.03. Okay. So that's the recompression compression index log 10 of sigma c prime, which is 1275 over sigma naught prime, which is 426. Then plus the second component comes from the virgin compression, the initial loading. So 0.25, okay. So that's CC of layer one compression index, log 10 of sigma f, 1626 over sigma c prime 1275 okay all right so that's the primary consolidation settlement of layer one okay and this works out to be 0.417 feet okay so that's layer one and then sc for layer two So for layer number two, if you compare the pre-consolidation pressure with the initial effective stress, so notice that the sigma naught layer two, which is 1128, is the same as the pre-consolidation pressure of layer two. So that's also 1128. So this is NC clay, normally consolidated clay. And this is case number one in our lecture notes. So for normally consolidated clay, it's pre-consolidation settlement SC, we call SC2. So again, H is 20. So that's the thickness of layer two over one plus E naught of layer two, which is 1.4, okay. So 1.4. And then times, for NC clay, we're going to use the compression index CC of layer two. So that's point 
six two log of sigma f prime, which is twenty three twenty eight. Okay, so that's sigma f prime over sigma c prime for layer two, which is eleven twenty eight, or sigma naught prime for layer two. Okay. And this works out to be one point six three feet. So now you have the primary consolidation settlement for both layer one and the layer two, and then the total settlement. Okay. So the total settlement due to primary consolidation, we call SC, is simply the sum of these two, SC of layer one plus SC of layer two. Okay. And if you substitute these two numbers, 0.417 for layer one, 1.63 for layer two. So this is approximately 2.05 feet. Okay. So that is the total settlement of this two layer soil profile, the total primary consolidation settlement.